Consider the following table of values for a linear function f of x is equal to mx plus b and an exponential function g of x is equal to a times r to the x. Write the equation for each function. And so they give us for each x value what f of x is and what g of x is. And we need to figure out the equation for each function and type them in over here. So I copy and pasted this problem on my little scratch pad. So let's first think about the linear function. And to figure out a the, the to figure out the equation of a line or a linear function right over here, you really just need two points. And I always like to use the situation when x equals 0 because that makes it very clear what the y intercept is going to be. So for example, we can say that f of 0 f of 0 is going to be equal to m times 0 plus b or this is just going to be equal to b and they tell us that f of 0 is equal to 5 b is equal to 5 so we immediately know that this b right over here is equal to 5 now we just have to figure out the m we have to figure out the slope of this line so just as a little bit of a refresher on slope the slope of this line is going to be our change in y or our change in our function i guess we could say if we say that this is y is equal to f of x over our change in x and actually let me write it that way we could write this as our change in our function over our change in x if you want to look at it that way so let's look at this first change in x when x goes from 0 to 1 so we finish at 1 we started at 0 and f of x finishes at 7 and started at 5. So when x is 1, f of x is 7. When x is 0, f of x is 5, and we get a change in our function of 2 when x changes by 1. So our m is equal to 2 and you see that when x increases by 1, our function increases by 2. So now we know the equation for f of x. f of x is going to be equal to is going to be equal to 2 times 2x plus b or 5. So we figured out what f of x is. Now we need to figure out what g of x is. So g of x is an exponential function and there's really two things that we need to figure out. We need to figure out what a is and we need to figure out what r is. And let me just rewrite that. So we know that g of x, maybe I'll do it down here. g of x is equal to a times r to the x power. And if we know what g of 0 is, that's a pretty useful thing because r to the 0th power regardless of what r is, where I guess we get we get assume that r is not equal to 0, that leads to people can debate what 0 to the 0 power is, but if r is any non-zero number, we know that you raise that to the 0 power, you get 1. And so that essentially gives us a. So let's just write that down. g of 0, g of 0 is a times r to the 0th power, which is just going to be equal to a times 1 or a and they tell us what g of 0 is g of 0 is equal to 3 so we know that a is equal to 3 so so far we know that our g of x can be written as 3 times r to the x power so now we can just use any one of the other values they gave us to solve for r for example they tell us that g of 1 is equal to 2 So let's write that down. G of 1, which would be 3 times r to the first power or just 3, let me just write. It could be 3 times r to the first power or we could just write that as 3 times r. They tell us that g of 1 is equal to 2. Is equal to 2. So we get 3 times r is equal to 2 or we get that r is equal to 2 thirds. Divide both sides of this equation by 3. So r is 2 thirds and we're done. g of x g of x is equal to 3 times 2 thirds 3 times 2 thirds actually we just write it this way. 3 times 2 thirds to the x power. 3 times 2 thirds to the x power. You could write it that way if you want, any which way. So 3 times 2 thirds to the x power and f of x is 2x plus 5. So let's actually just type that in. So f of x is 2x plus 5. f of x is 2x plus 5. And we can verify that that's the expression that we want. And g of x is 3 times 
2 over 3, 2 over 3, to the, to the x power. Let me just verify that that's what I did there. I have a short memory. All right, yeah, that looks right. All right, let's check our answer. And we got it right.